when I was in there, the guy upstairs looked at me and goes, bitch. You seriously just called me a bitch? Are you laced? You better be laced up if you're gonna call me a bitch. And everybody was like, oh. I was an undercover inmate at Clark County. Now, I'm on the other side, this time as a corrections officer. This is my return to Clark County. I don't know what to do here. Oh my God. I don't even know where to start, it's so much. Sometimes I'm like, what am I doing? Is this really worth it? Every day I go to work, I have to fight with the fact that I don't know if I can even work here because I don't know if I can work the schedule they're trying to give me. I don't think it's possible. It's not, I'll never see my children if I do it because they'll be at school all day long while I'm home. And then before they get home, I'm gonna go to work and work until they're asleep and come home and they'll be asleep. And my days off will be days are in school. I don't know how much more I can sacrifice. It's a pain in the butt. I just want them to see their rooms, see the house, and just ready to feel like a home. It's just a house right now. It's been three months since I've seen them. I've never gone this long without them my entire life. So I'm just like, I'm ready. That's them. Abby! Abby! Hi, baby! <laughs> oh, my gosh! Hi! <gasps> You're so big! Hi, baby! <laughs> Hi! Look how long your hair's gotten! Hi, baby. <laughs> Abby looks completely different. I miss you so much. I miss you too, honey. Never again, okay? Come on. Load them up. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you climb up and through like they did? <laughs> yeah, do that. I'm not jumping through that. You're crazy. Not fair. Oh, you guys want to see my tattoo? Yeah. Why did you get that? It's a willow tree for a little baby that passed away. And then the three little birds are you and Abby and Chloe. And the bird cage is when. So me, Chloe, and Abby. Yeah, and kind of like all of us, our family. So I have a new name for my job position the last three months. Ready? What's it that? Home based parental technician. <laughs> right? I should have got a shirt made. I knew going into it, it wasn't going to be the easiest thing to do, but we're here all together. And that's the main thing is just, you know, whatever we do, we do it as a family. It's like, um, it's been so long. And then like you get in the car and it just feels like another day, like everything's back to normal. Like everything I was so stressed about, like the little things don't matter right now. Dude, it's flat around here. No mountains ain't Don't worry, I'm not. <laughs> Wow. I'm coming. Yeah, I'm you coming. wanna come in? See your new house? Big house. Sure you didn't mow the lawn? <laughs> All right. Okay, hold on. Go upstairs. Wow, this looks good. You did a good job decorating this. You like it? Yeah. Can we go look at the bedrooms? Yeah. Hold, my, okay, hold, hold Mama's hold hand. Mama's hand. Mama will show you the bedroom. Whose room is this room? Abby's room. Abby, look over here. Nice. Ah! Look at your dolly. That's your American Girl doll. Come here, you guys want to see the next room? Chloe's room. <gasps> wow, Chloe's What do you think, Chloe? Here you go, Abby. Just one second. You like it? Ah. It's not like a little kid's room anymore, huh? Bella's room. <laughs> go. Turn the light on. Wow, Belle. Bella, there's an artist, a local yeah. artist who painted yeah. those for you. Oh, Ladies, you guys got some cool rooms. When she told me that this is what she wanted to do and do this career, I was happy for her. I, I was pumped for her because I thought it took a lot of guts to go back into a place that you don't know who likes you, who doesn't. But when you fall into a passion and a career, doing something else doesn't really seem right. So if this is her passion, this is what she wants to do, then you know you can't help but support that aspect of it. I know it sounds weird, but this has kind of been like the best way for me to kind of heal from like, you know, this year was rough, you know, 
show coming out, losing the baby, being bullied online, and just the constant attacks on, you know, everything from my hair to the size of me. And it's kind of nice to go back to work because now it's like, you're slowly becoming you. But I think it's different too, though, now that we're all here. We're gonna make it look nice out here. We're gonna get yeah. furniture and a fire pit. There is that outlet, so Sheree doesn't come home into an empty house. I feel like I'm a badass chick sometimes, but Dustin, like, he pushes me to that extra level, and I'm like, and I know he's got my back. So I'm excited to have that, and I'm excited to have the house actually feel like a house. Wow, what's that? Now we're a team again. Now we can do everything together. Hi. Officer Ray, it feels good to call you that, right? <laughs> Better than inmate, huh? Yeah. I got to sit down with the sheriff, which is the first time I've really seen him since it started. So when we sat down and got to have this little, you know, debrief, it was interesting to kind of get his feedback. Tell me how your first couple days have went. Uh, pretty interesting, actually. I was uh, actually more intimidated by uh, coming around the inmates than I was staff. Hey. Officer Ray, you guys are killing me. Not too many people can say, hey, I was an inmate. Yeah. undercover in that jail at one time, and now I'm a corrections officer here, so. Now, most people would think that would be crazy, I think. In fact, everybody I know thinks it's crazy. It was interesting for him to see me in that aspect. So you got OC trained yesterday, which Absolutely. was. Absolutely. What a lot of people don't realize is when you're a corrections officer, you leave the gun at the door. That's usually your mind right here is your best defense. And Absolutely. Being smart in situations, so. When I was in there, the guy upstairs looked at me and goes, Bitch. I was like, oh, hell no. You seriously just called me a bitch? Are you laced? I about to say, we can lace up. And he was trying not to crack up, but whoo, that was some quick thinking there. It's strange now because now I'm the officer and I have to go and do pod by pod by pod and I can see the inmates getting mad at me the way I used to get mad at officers like me because they have so much to do. I have so much to do that it's really hard to remember it all. And so I have like such a new appreciation for these officers and how hard they're working, you know, and it, it, it's, it's tough. Yeah, kind of like what I talked about earlier, you gotta always be in your A game. Yeah. It's been a unique experience. I mean, I was a little concerned and worried at first that how would she be received by the inmates and how would the staff view her as someone that was giving pretty critical feedback of what we need to do to improve. Did you pick up when you were working on the, the handing out the feminine products that we no longer give out tampons and just pads, feminine pads? Yes. Ladies upstairs, anybody need any feminine stuff? Yeah, girl, what you need? You like the blue or the whites? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I was explaining that to an attorney that inquired to me about that, and I said, hey, look, we had undercover participants in here. Sheriff, you, you, you have a major drug problem in this jail. You open up the tampon things, you push them out, and there's all your pills. But in the past, that's the stuff that, you know, nobody talked about, nobody knew about. It was unique just to see what we changed, but then also she would say, hey, Sheriff, we said we're gonna do this, but we didn't, and now that we're making changes, are they working, or are they not, and how are we moving forward from here? coming in and being thrown into a hands-on from the first couple days, I didn't know how to do a pat-down correctly, and I, I didn't know certain things. And the FTO is doing like what they, you know, the best they can, but they still have a job to do out there, and they get distracted, and, you know, you don't know when an inmate's pulling you this way. And personally, I kind of wonder if I could have had, like, maybe a day or two where people showed the bare minimums before you're actually out on the floor. Sheree brings a passion. She enjoys corrections. She wants to help. She's bought full into what we're trying to do here. She's picking up quick. She's got some experience in it, too, so that naturally helps. He clearly didn't give me any indication that he was not confident in my ability, and, you know, he understands and he supports it, and so if he's got my back, I got his, so, you know, until I have his job, we're just gonna keep doing this, and I will be sheriff. Well, I hope that gave you an idea of where you're at. And it did. It definitely did. And it's appreciated. Keep up the good work. See ya. <laughs> Thank Thanks you so again, much. Sheree. Thank right. you. This is who the real Sheree is. Not inmate Sheree. This is me. And the real Sheree puts on her badge, she puts on her belt and boots, and she goes to work every day, and she makes a difference one day at a time. And that's all I can do. That's the purpose of my life. It's just what I'm meant to do. Every day we're dealing with murderers, gangbangers, and inmates who have severe mental illness.